history is being made this week in the waters off Long Island, New York. The team of fishermen and scientists that make up O-Search says it's found the first known birthing site for great white sharks on the North Atlantic coast. In less than a week, the team has fitted nine young sharks with locator tags that will allow researchers to track their movements. Jeff Glor is just back from the water with a story you're seeing only on CBS This Morning. Jeff, good morning. Anthony, good morning. O-Search says after 26 expeditions, this is the most significant discovery they've made. A birthing site that includes the famed waters off Montauk, Long Island. It is not easy work. As we've seen before, the team can go days without finding one shark. On this trip, they seem to be everywhere. It's a baby one! Yeah. 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 As soon as a shark is steered onto a hydraulic lift, scientists and researchers rush in. By now, the process of tagging is routine for O-Search. But the particular goal of this trip is not. This trip is a bit different. Well, it's kind of like step two in the science, right? Chris Fisher is the expedition leader. When we started this work, I mean, you were there back in 12 and 13. The real question was, is where are these white sharks in the North Atlantic giving birth? Because that's where the sharks are most vulnerable. Starting blood! For researchers, finding the North Atlantic birthing site can lead to better protection policies. 65! And far more scientific knowledge. Why is this work in this spot so important for you? Because this is a really unique population of animals. I mean, it's a life stage that really hasn't been studied very much. Harley Newton is a veterinary pathologist with the Wildlife Conservation Society. For all the fear over sharks, she says actual facts remain scant. This is an incredibly rare opportunity. This is my first time seeing a white shark ever. It's very exciting. And you've been studying them for how long? 16 years. The first one was very exciting. And actually, every single one so far has been very exciting. This is the third young white shark that we've seen brought on this lift just today. Among the other work being done here, uh, muscle biopsy, blood samples being taken, and then the all-important tags are being applied. The goal is to have the shark on and off the lift inside of 15 minutes. We found it. You, you think you found the birthing yeah, site? definitely the nursery, likely the birthing site. I think probably the most significant discovery we've ever made on the ocean. Fisher's team will also determine if any of these sharks are the offspring of Great White's O-Search first encountered off Cape Cod. The strategy at the time was get a tag out on big mature animals, and when you get one on a big female, 18 months later, she should lead you to the holy grail of the research, the birthing site. It's about a 15-foot shark. In 2012, CBS This Morning was there when a 2,000-pound female named Jeannie became the first ever Great White successfully spot tag in the North Atlantic. People see these baby sharks and they're not big. Are they hurt? If we thought we were hurting the animals, we wouldn't do what we were doing. We don't learn if we don't let them go in good shape. The fact of the matter is, is that we have to get some tracking devices on a handful of these animals so we can help them all thrive. This week, O-Search has tagged and released nine great white sharks, including a female aptly named Gratitude. She was anxious to get off. She was, yeah. Oh, no, She's right. gone, but now everybody can follow her. The GPS locators now worn by the nine shark pups are activated when the animal's dorsal fin breaks the surface. Five of them, including Gratitude, are now transmitting their locations off the coast of Long Island. Gratitude actually just pinged in for the first time last night. Uh, they will likely stay in that area for at least 20 years until they reach maturity. So again, the theory is that, that they're, they're mating off the coast of Cape Cod uh -huh. and then they swim a little bit south and then give birth off Long Island. It's nice to know who's in the hood out there. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> so know. fascinating. I know you've been covering this story for years and we're learning so much. And it's sort of step by step and, and Chris Fisher calls this step two in the process. Can't wait for three. What is three? Yeah. What happens next? Well, one thing they do want to find is, is a mature male shark, a yeah. larger male shark, which they have not found yet. Wow. Okay. Jeff, thank you. Sure.